all the materials will be in the back room. Take a drinking straw, put it through your car axles, and because the uh, straw won't cut right up against the edge of your car, pull the straw out a little tiny bit, and then take a pair of scissors and snip that straw. If you push that straw in, it should be inside your car. You'll do that with the back axle too. Put a, a straw through the axle. When it comes out the other side, pull it out a little bit. Snip it with a pair of scissors. And push that in. If you can't fit the straw through your car, it's probably because there's paint in your axle holes. You'll have to run the axle hole drill bit through these two axles to clear out that paint. The axles that actually hold your wheels in place are going to be also available in the back room in this little coffee can labeled axles. Um, there are different length axles. The long axles you're going to need for the back of your car. Try not to use a really long axle for a small front axle because you'll be wasting a lot of axle. Your axle needs to be an inch longer than the width of your car. What I'm going to do is take this axle, put it through the front, and when it comes out the other side, I'm going to put my finger there, and that axle is now going through my car, so the car is taking up the width, its width. And I'm going to take a ruler and measure and mark one inch going through the car, plus one inch. I'm going to mark that. Kind of difficult to do all three at once. Anyhow, the axle is not one inch, it's the width of your car plus one inch. A lot of students mess that up. If you take a look at this ruler, this ruler starts at zero. So from zero to one inch is really easy to do on a, a wooden ruler like this. These rubber rulers, you can see the zero starts about an eighth inch in. So you really probably don't want to use these rulers or if you are, you have to start at the zero point. The next thing you're going to do is cut your axle. Um, the mark that you made on your axle should be right at the edge of the vise. Put that. That mark is right at the edge of this vise. We're going to be using a hacksaw to cut your axle. The hacksaw is the only metal saw we have in the classroom. It has the plastic handle, the large metal body a wide metal blade and they do, all do have metal written on them. Just simply take the hacksaw, put it on your line and you're going to want to apply light pressure. Don't push too hard or you'll bend your axle. The part that falls off is pretty hot from friction. Don't grab that or you could burn yourself. The part in the vise won't be hot because the big metal vise was absorbing a lot of that heat. Axle in the wheel hole, tap that in place, put the axle through your car, a straw came out, put another wheel down on the bench. that in. When the axle is the right length, your wheel should spin. It shouldn't be too tight to the car. You should see a little space on the edge there. Back axle, you're going to use a longer axle and put it through your vehicle at an inch. Cut it, put the wheel on the bench, tap it in with a hammer, put it through your car, at the other edge in. And you have your back wheels.